Hello, welcome back to the North Eastern. Here we are, above the tunnels, looking towards Newhassel. Um, it's rather quiet up here at the moment, uh, there's no movement, and um, not a lot happening. But if I turn you round, Here we are looking at, or what's to be, high shields. Um, all layouts start out like this. A blank board, maybe just a couple of tracks. Um, there's not a lot been happening on the baseboard itself because I've been busy um, working on the buildings. And um, there's not a lot of height in this area. It's around about five inches there and about four inches there. So it's just enough room to get terraced houses in. So let's make a start. Right, the first thing I want to do is create the road going round the corner down in this four corner just about there so what I'll do is I'll glue that in situ and then work out where the road's going so I shall do that and then see you in a bit Okay, I have PVA'd this little piece of town seat to the back wall and I've left that gap there um, just because the reason being is I'm going to put a house there and uh, um, that will cover the gap up. Now we have a fence panel here and here. Well, when we paint the road, we'll paint that bit as well, all the way around there, and that will create the illusion of a road going round the corner. Right, so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to paint the road. Okay, what you can see now is I've painted the roads back in. So basically I've buried the fence in that was there and repainted the roads so it looks part of the new scenery. So if I back out a little bit you can see what I mean. Right so the next phase to do is the paving. Which I'll use the Metcalf paving to do that. Okay, as you can see, I have made a paper template um, which I will put my paving stones on. I'm going to come in 30mm from the edge and slab it round this edge all the way down to that corner. Um, roughly 30mm there and 30 mil all the way down to a fine point of where that pencil line is and uh, once that's done I can um, stick that in place and put the houses on right so I'll make a start and we'll see what it looks like when it's done okay my template now is covered with the Metcalf pavement so I'm just going to offer it up to see what it looks like in place and that's just roughly where I want it to be so I've got two buildings sitting on there or I will have two buildings sitting on there so I'm quite pleased with that and uh, making the template first really does pay it right so now I'm going to glue that down. Uh, 
first, first of all, before I glue it down, I'll just mark it in a few places so I know how far to put the glue. Okay, the paving's in place, so now's time to put the buildings in place. Now I had to do a little bit of renovation work on these buildings, and uh, I'm quite pleased with the way they've turned out, so I'll just put these in place. Okay, yeah, that's one. Right now for the for the corner shops. Okay, there you have it. I had to do a little bit of uh, a minor adjustment to the paving. Uh, overextended it a little bit, but uh, that is looking quite good. So, High Shields now has terraced houses and some new shops. Um, on this side uh, there will be a pub going in and along with some more terrace houses but they'll be uh, Medcalf kits so I'm not sure how the plastic houses and the Medcalf houses, houses will go well together not sure how that's going to work but yes I am pleased with my efforts this weekend so as you can see that blends in quite nicely going around the corner there so it takes the road off round that building and I'll have to do something similar here but that'll be for a later date that's all for this week, see you next week.